Pleasure to know, Mbak Carol, Mbak yeah. and Mas Ahir. Yes, thank you so much for joining us right here. And please, you know, uh, do give us some updates on the recent uh, light of the uh, COVID-19 lockdown now. It seems that uh, restriction has been eased. And, you know, Shanghai has recently stated that the pandemic is effectively under control and the city will enter the third stage. Can you tell us more about this? Yes, that's the opening uh, in happenings. So. Uh, we visit uh, uh, from our own eyes. Uh, now, the third stage you mentioned, meaning that when the first two lockdown uh, from uh, 28 March to 5th of April, and then afterwards for the uh, three, uh, three areas arrangement mm -hmm. in which a PCR test is the key to detect uh, spread and to contain by uh, bringing those uh, positive it, it due to quarantine center etc so basically now uh, there is no more spread within communities and therefore the third stage is ready which is reopening which uh, which which is gradual as you already mentioned all right, so Mr. Danny, this is Ahir speaking. So uh, we would like to know, is, so actually, is there any still uh, virus control campaign, actually? Yeah, uh, in the quarantine center, there are still uh, like less than 200 cases remaining. Uh, no more uh, spread um, uh, among people within the communities and uh, therefore now basically more than 22 million people are free uh, to travel within shanghai basically maybe, maybe remains uh, a few zone involved 500 people maybe uh, within town and uh, uh, control areas which is medium risk we would call it medium risk high risk the travel from Shanghai to outside cities, uh, well, well, transport, transport is already open, but basically the arrangement has been that when you are from high risk areas, then you would be required to have quarantine in the cities of destination. Mm -hmm. The quarantine would be different in line with the policies of each of the cities. Mm -hmm. Basically 14 plus seven would mm -hmm. be the normal. Uh, okay. 14 uh, plus it, the, 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 <laughs> meaning wow. that you would be required to be at the quarantine uh, for 14 days plus seven days uh, home quarantine mm, so 14 right. days mm -hmm. in the facility and seven at home yeah yeah see oh so choose to stay to re, to stay at that, that particular so it, it really depends but basically that uh, screening uh, to movement of people is required within China. Mm -hmm. So that is how the uh, thing uh, is, is done here. But, uh, you, you know, you will see that this is, uh, to me, a very important body of knowledge in which China implements yeah. zero COVID policy and today it could be declared that Shanghai is another win uh, against COVID, uh, even when it is uh, Omicron. Mm. So this body of knowledge is, you know, important for, for us also to learn because, you know, uh, in the view, in towards the future, we would never know there would be another kind of attack, whether it is man-made or, or natural. So China is, is willing to take whatever cost necessary mm -hmm. to implement that zero code, uh, zero zero COVID policy. And you could ask a question: Which country in this world, especially country with huge number of population, yeah. Yeah. able to implement that policy? So this is really a very significant body of knowledge yes, that of course. we need. 
Well, yeah, it's the zero, um, the zero case policy uh, that that has gotten a, a lot of people, you know, even worried because of how strict uh, China has been. But how has the public reacted to the current stage? Because finally, things are starting to open up again. How long did the COVID-19 lockdown exactly take effect in Shanghai? Well, the people, of course, is more than joyful. So we could see from social media, etc. You know, people start to stroll on the streets, uh, flock around the, the, the ban, which is the waterfront, which mm -hmm. is we, we could call it as kilometer zero, kilometer zero. Uh, and then some of them all even have some, you know, drinks and uh, food at the few restaurants already open. Of of course, with under still may need to maintain uh, to avoid large uh, crowds. Uh, yeah, and also so, uh, the, 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 you know, basically, I mean, for for them, they have been some of them did 15 of, of months, but uh, I mean, most of us started first of april so you could imagine how long have they been there yeah a few months and you know mr denny again we'd like to just you know reinform our viewers right now you know again uh, life is not fully back pre-covid you know time or pre-covid or pre the uh, zero case um you know uh, policy that is given by china restaurant dining remains banned shops can operate only 75 75 percent capacity and gyms will reopen later and we've you know read a lot of news that people are right now are very reluctant to celebrate um the easing of the restrictions because they don't know you know what to come in the future now let's talk about the indonesian that resides in shanghai uh Badeni. Uh, it is almost summertime schools are on a break are they prone to travel, especially coming back to Indonesia? But as you said before, there are some policies and quarantines and whatnot is still intact and in place in some uh, district or some cities. So how are the Indonesians uh, thus far? Are they planning to you know, travel, maybe coming back to Indonesia or other parts of the world? Or they're just staying you know, in Shanghai or in China as of right now until everything's just more stable? So at the social media groups, we talk a lot about it. Mm -hmm. uh, it. It would be easy to travel outside, but then we would have problem when we have to go back here. Yeah. So some says that after some of the few cases that they go out and then in, they needed. They said that they had to like two hundred million uh, group. Uh, so that is. And then, not to mention also the difficult to the difficult to find uh, so available uh, so easily uh, to go through the third country mm -hmm. to be f possible not from the time, most of cases. So uh, then the, the the answer would be we travel then we may only travel within domestic china right mm. yes our our liking to travel back home yes and i think that's the only safe bet uh, that the indonesian or even in the chinese people can do especially during the summer break until everything is just stabilized mm -hmm. we would like to thank you mr denny kurnia indonesian council journal in shanghai Please do stay healthy and stay safe, uh, by, uh, Mr. Denny. And you know, our regards always to your family and those Indonesians that is in Shanghai. Thank you so much for your time.